Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of our chat series for which I am personally very thankful to Skype because because of their technology we were able to bridge the gap and bring the camera into Valhalla and speak to the one and only the Viken of Workings about the band's upcoming album Revenge which is out this July. Oh and by the way if you haven't done so yet make sure you subscribe to both YouTube and Instagram because there will be something called the week of release. Here you go. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, Viking? Oh, it's going good. With you? That's good. Perfect. It's it's actually finally good weather over here. How's the weather like in Valhalla? Well, cold as always. <laughs> but, you know, the sun is coming out, so it's quite good. Okay, that's good. I actually, I'm surprised. I mean, for anyone who's going to be watching us, I mean, bringing a camera into freaking Valhalla and doing it over Skype. This is. This is how technology works now. This is freaking amazing. Yeah, modern awesome technology. <laughs> Iron Man, uh, so uh, thanks a lot. I assume you're pretty busy with the new album coming out um, pretty soon. How is the atmosphere in the band right now? I mean, I know you guys haven't gotten along, you know, some hundreds of years ago, but uh, how is it going now? Are you guys in touch often? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, we meet each other. We meet each other, we sit together, we drink, we eat. <laughs> That's what you do in the afterlife, and yeah, we're, we're pretty excited, you know, we, the album is finished, it's coming out uh, end of July, so yeah, the, the atmosphere is, is, is quite good, yeah, it, it, you know, okay, we're a little bit sad that we can't go out and play because of the virus bullshit happening all over the world, but uh, that's like it is. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, 7 billion people exactly in the same situation right now, but uh, I thought there was no quarantine in Valhalla, but... I mean, it's all over the world then, I guess. <laughs> we don't really have quarantine here, but we can't go, you know, we can't go and play anywhere because, you know, for us, it's, it's you know, it's not that problem. We're dead, but <laughs> everyone else. Yeah, as a, as a huge metal fan, and I personally think that, you know, heavy metal without live shows is not really heavy metal, right? I mean, you cannot just enjoy the band online all the time. I mean, you have to go out there. And this is sad that this might be a new reality we all have to adapt to. I mean, who knows? Yeah. It, you know, metal, it's, it lives from the live shows. You know, it lives from the fans singing your songs and, 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 and playing and getting the energy and giving something back. That's it. And yeah, but let's see how this, where and how this goes. Mm -hmm. And you, like you said, you can do stuff online but it's not the same than you know feel the atmosphere of a live show and, and you know stand next to each other and sing the songs that's that's a different experience absolutely absolutely i agree with you what about the you know the live shows online have you guys considered playing those for the fans worldwide or not really yeah we thought about this let's see you know a lot of bands are doing it right now and uh yeah we were talking about some ideas back and forth. Mm -hmm. That's it. We have we have maybe I heard that maybe we have a festival happening in September um, because they said that's still not cancelled. Um, but at the moment we don't know more. And yeah, let's see let, let's see what we can do. Maybe in autumn we do something. It's if we still can't play live. We're supposed to go on tour in January, February next year. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully this is going to happen. This will be cool. Right, yeah, and the, 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 this tour you guys are supposed to go to, is it uh, over in Europe or you're going overseas I, as well? Mostly Germany with, with, with some other dates here and there mm -hmm. because it's, it's with a German band. And, and then, yeah, like, like, like for everybody right now, you know, we, we're planning a lot. It's a lot of festivals planned for next year and then and another tour in, in autumn. But it's all planning. You can't. You, you know, you, you can't say anything about this. You, you're not sure if it's happening. Absolutely. Yeah, let's just hope, you know, fingers crossed that all this yeah. madness is going to disappear soon. Came, come back to nowhere, you know, how it came from there. Um, so your, your, your second album, your sophomore album, Revenge, is out on July 31st. Congrats on finishing up on this one. Uh, the first one has been received extremely well. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the process behind creating it, you know, and how would you personally describe your second album? You know, this is like I said before, we sit together <laughs> and we, we talk about the stories that, you know, that we live through and, and old battles, old battle stories. And then, you know, 
and then we think about, yeah, maybe we can do a song about this story or another one. And so, you know, someone brings up a melody and, uh, you know, the crusader brings up a, a guitar riff. And so that's the songwriting process mm -hmm. that we have. Yeah. But, and, and on Revenge, you know, we, we wanted to put a little bit more atmosphere mm -hmm. into the, so the song. So it, not only through the lyrics, you know, what the topic of the song is that there's a little bit more around it. We added a little bit of strings and keyboards here and there and mm -hmm. some like folk instruments. So just to, 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 to give it like a, a whole experience. Mm -hmm. So that was our goal and, and, and we're really satisfied with, with this right now. That's pretty cool. And I was personally get you know able to get hold of at least the song names and you know the lyrics, some of the lyrics, uh, you know, on the on the follow on the following album. And it does look like it's gonna base a lot about the bad, you know, around the battles and maybe sometimes even historical ba battles that actually you know happened. Is that true? Is that? Yeah, we we have, uh, we have some some songs are about uh, historical battles uh, that we want to write about that we know about, and then there's. Other songs, it is, uh, yeah, like the, the first song is called Freedom, because we met this cool guy up here in Valhalla called William Wallace. He's from Scotland, and he told us uh, his story about fighting with the Highlanders against the uh, the English knights and the English king. So we thought about let's uh, let's give him a song, and uh, yeah, so some songs about the historical battles, and some songs about stuff that happened to us, and yeah, so that's it's kind of mixed. <laughs> That's cool. And the lyrics you write, you guys write it together, or you just give it over to to the Tribune? <laughs> it's like yeah, the Tribune writes some lines, and then it depends, like I said before, on the topic. You know, mm -hmm. who knows more about this? So we let's say kind of like mostly he writes a lot of lyrics and and, and stuff because he's so educated. You know, he's a <laughs> Roman Tribune, and uh, and and then we're like you know like we, we're like the controlling eye. Like okay, this is wrong. You have to write this. This is this happened different. But yeah, yeah. What, is, you know, what what does he know about real battles, right? <laughs> <That is Roman. laughs> That's true. Um, it, at least to me, and please correct me if I'm wrong. Right? It did seem like there's slightly more of you know thrash metal almost influence. Uh, at least on the first single you guys released, the Warriors, right? Um. Is that going to be, you know, the general threat throughout the album? Is it going to be a little bit more rapid and more powerful than even the first one? Or is it just, you know, this song that was released like this? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's, it's on the whole album, but, you know, we wanted to, you know, we wanted to have, like, we wanted to play metal, power metal, and mm -hmm. we wanted to put, it, like, heavy guitars. Mm -hmm. And, like, this is, you know, the, this is the foundation of the music that we have. Mm -hmm. So we, have, we want to have great riffs and, and heavy guitars and a good guitar tone. So yeah, this is what we concentrated on. But it's yeah, it's some influences like you could say from that musical direction, but not everything. We, we, we try to keep it a little bit diverse. You will see, like in July, beginning of July, mm -hmm. we will uh, release the second single, and that's a, a, a total different song. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this doesn't characterize really the album. It's gonna have a full variety uh, of it. Yeah, no. Okay. We just wanted to come up with a really fast one. No, yeah, that's pretty cool. And you did cooperate with Vlad, <laughs> who is my my to be honest with you namesake. I'm also Vlad um, on the, on this one. How did you guys meet? Yeah, you know, like uh, the Crusader. He is also there's this uh, Christian order called Order of the Dragon, mm -hmm. and Vlad Tepes. He was uh, he is was one of the the heads of this of this Christian mm -hmm. order, and uh, luckily he's also known as Dracula or as Vlad the Impaler. Yep. So. No, that fits to us. So yeah, so we, we went to Romania and then we, we you know we we'll visit his castle and that was quite fun time. And so yeah, we decided to do a video together. It worked out really well. Yeah, it did actually. And you know, and the fans perceived it really well. I mean, it's been on repeat, you know, on my YouTube music for the last couple of days. So good job on this one. And uh, you know, on the previous album, going back again, you did a very successful cooperation with you know with Queen of Damned and and multiple questions have been asked whether she's going to become a permanent member of the band or not. I mean, all that aside, but are you guys going to feature more guest appearances on this we album have as well? On the new album, so this is going to be, yeah, I don't know, you said you haven't heard it, but there's there's going to be a song with her on the, nice. on the, on the album also. 
No, it's 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 kind of it's kind of hard to work with a vampire queen, so you have to be very careful. Uh, but but yeah, of course, it worked out really well, and uh, so we did another song with her, and yeah, it's gonna be released as a single also, but it's coming like uh, shortly before the album. Okay, so closer to the end of July. All right, makes sense. And how about a ballad? Are you gonna drop one in the middle, like in good old days? I don't I don't know. A lot of people say it's a ballad, but for us, it's just we want you know. We want to, to. This is a song about us and 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 all the the fans. We call them warriors, walking warriors. And it was so great when we, you know, when we went on the first tour and and then played a couple of festivals. You know, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know if any of the people there know us. And then it was so many people singing our songs and and all that stuff. So we wanted to make them like an anthem, and that's why we created this song. And yeah, you could say it's a ballad. For us, it's just a, a song for all our warriors to sing with us. It's a contest. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, to catch you guys live uh, someday. Hopefully, you will, you know, you will go all over Europe, and I'll be able to catch you somewhere. Yeah, that's the plan. That's what we want to do, but you know, we're stuck in Valhalla because of that virus shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you got to tell me a little bit about. Uh, about how the band got formed, right? I know you've answered this before, but uh, how come these particular four warriors got together? I mean, I imagine you wouldn't get along, you know, in real life uh, before that, but a Viking, a Crusader, um, a Gladiator, and a Tribune, why these four? How did you guys, I mean, why it's, why it's these particular four warriors that, you know, got along together and not someone else? What's the concept behind it? There, there was no concept, you know. Every, everybody or every one of us died in battle, and so we, we, we meet like at the, at the doors of Valhalla. And you know, I, I've never seen a, a crusader before. Didn't know what a Spartan was. So, and then it turned out like, you know, I call it Valhalla, and uh, the, the crusader calls it paradise, and, and, and the, the, the Spartan calls it the Olymp. So, but we realized, you know, first. We try to, you know, like we're warriors, so we, we wanted to fight, and then we realized we're already dead, so we, we can't kill each other one more time. And uh, then we realized, you know, if you're dead, it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter what religion you believe or where you come from, you're dead, and, you know, under our skin, we're all the same. So, yeah, we, we got together and we sat together and we talked about and we had the same experiences, you know, in, in, in our lives. And so, yeah, so we decided. Yeah, let's go back and, and, and tell the people about this these stories and um, yeah, what better music you can use than heavy metal? It's so powerful and epic, so we use that music. But that's the story, you know. It's like it happened by accident. There was no plan behind it. This is amazing to hear that you know music unites people not only on Earth but on Valhalla only. And and I imagine you listen to a huge variety of music over there. I I assume you've got unlimited you know access to Spotify and everything like that there. But um. What did, for you personally, for Viking, right? I mean, what did influence your sound the most? I mean, who, who are your favorite bands and uh, whom do you look up to? You know, if you talk about bands, then it's like, it's, it, it's like the classic metal bands. Like, you know, like I like Judas Priest. I like, I like Iron Maiden. You know, Steve Harris is a great bass player. So, but um, like also like bands like Manowar who tell some epic stories or, mm -hmm. or there's this... Uh, this band, uh, Amon or Marth, uh, mm -hmm. who really like are into the Vikings, and this is, so this is kind of influences I have and uh, that that I like, and then also you know like uh, like all the old tunes that we, we we sang together with the ancestors we had, and so so yeah, it's kind of a mixture of that. But you have to adapt to the modern times, and and and, and there's so much awesome music out there. So yeah, we like you said, we listen to it a lot, and 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 I think you know you cannot say that that music that you hear doesn't influence you. I think, you know, you always remember bits and pieces here and there. So, yeah, but for me, it's like mostly those classic metal bands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're the same with this one. Um, did you guys ever consider, uh, you know, throwing in a tribute to one of those classic metal bands over there? You know, maybe a cover song or something like that, but with your personal touch, you know, with a little bit modern feel to it. Yeah, we, we had on, on some festivals last year, you know, we, we, we played a, a great song from Amon Um Um But actually, to that point, we haven't talked about this. Maybe we do one for the next album. Let's see, you know, like our guitar player, he really is into like uh, like bands like Pantera and, mm -hmm. and, and also like he, he, he loves Dimebag. Mm -hmm. um, he always sits together with him and they, they chat about, you know, 
So Dimebag showed him some tricks on the guitar mm -hmm. uh, up here. And uh, yeah, maybe we do, we, we do a cover. We talked about this. Let's see. At the moment, we're pretty uh, excited about the songs we wrote and we want to put them out. So yeah, but never say never. All right. And do you personally have a favorite song from, uh, you know, from the new album? Yeah, of course. That's the, that's the song together with the Queen of the Damned because it's about the Vikings and it's called Odin's Sons. And, and this is my favorite, you know, it's, it's about my lifestyle and, 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 and the North and, and the Norsemen and all that. And it's a pretty awesome tune. It does seem that there's a little bit of competition, you know, going on between the four of you. You're all trying to, you know, um, drag the rope into your own, you know, court and uh, sing a little bit more about your personal story. Is that true? Yeah, you can say so. You know, like, it's like we're four kings, so like, this is four big e egos, so everybody wants to tell his story. And so it's just kind of like, yeah, we have discussions about this, like, you know, there's mostly and in fist fights and then a lot of nades and wine and beer and then we're all friends again but yeah you know everybody want to tell his story and like uh, that's how it is you know that's how it is you know like you, um, you have so, so many different personalities like the tribune is so educated and then you have the the crusader you know who, who, who like always wants to to pray and meditate and then you have someone like the spartan who is training all the time and but you can but, see yeah. that yeah <laughs> Of course, yeah. But of course, let's say it's it's friendly competition. Okay, well, and maybe this, you know, is what allows you to to experiment a, li a little bit with the sound and everything. You already mentioned that there's going to be some folks uh, instruments dropping in the middle of it, and uh... yeah, yeah. Like we, like I said, you know, on this record when we had like when we had the song and we had like the topic or the story. We want to write about, so we wanted to push, you know, the atmosphere of the song. Like, like I said before, that not only if you read the title or you read the lyrics, you know, okay, this is about this. Like, if you listen to the song and then you know, okay, uh, okay, this is this is about the Vikings or this is about like uh, the Crusades, like when they walked through the desert under the burning sun and a lot of the knights died and all that stuff. And you know, the Spartan has a song about the Battle of Marathon, you know, where 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 the 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 Greek soldiers defeated the Persian army that tries to uh, to land uh, on the shores of Greece. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and we we tried to push these songs in the direction you know of, that we wanted to tell. So we used kind of like a couple of bagpipes in the song about William Wallace and all, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys, you know, haven't been able to tour that much as a band yet. Obviously, only after the first album, and for the obvious reasons, there will be no shows in the next couple of months at least down the road but hopefully you know they will resume uh, in uh, autumn or uh, for sure in 2021 but maybe there is one story that stuck out that the memory you cherish and remember and want to share so far yeah you know we we, we played the famous Wacken open air yeah. last year in the summer and you know we were all excited because you know everybody told us this is the biggest one you know on earth and, and, and it's really like an honor to play there so we were really excited and then when we went there, uh, there was like kind of a, a thunderstorm was, mm -hmm. was what was happening, like not really at the festival. And so the, the promoters from the festival, they get this message from the government there or for the local government. So they had to stop the festival oh, crap. and it was like two hours before our show. And so they said, okay, it, it's canceled. It's done. Everybody has to leave. So everybody, every really like literally everybody, like all the fans, like 80,000 people and the, the, all the musicians and crew, we had to leave the festival area. So, you know, we walked like, like I don't know, two miles to, to, to a building because they said, you know, if this thunderstorm is happening, you're safe there. And then nothing happened. It started to rain a little <laughs> bit. And then, like, you know, the information first was, okay, um, maybe it's canceled. Then the information was, okay, this day is canceled nobody's going to play anymore. So we were like, okay, shit. And then like an hour later, like an hour before our show, um, one of the, the, the stage guys from the stage where we played, he came up and he's like, okay, we can go on. You're next. So our <laughs> crew just headed to the stage and like we headed to the stage. And when we were getting ready, I was looking, you know, on the, from the stage into the, to the place, you know, there was nobody, like nobody was there because, 
you know, 80,000 people had to leave the festival and they were just like beginning to let them in. So I thought, you know, we, we thought, okay, now we're going to play Wacken and we have this big stage and, and we like maybe the first band plays in Wacken in front of nobody <laughs> because everybody's waiting to get in. But like half an hour later when we then entered the stage, like this, the, the whole place was packed with people and they were singing with us and, and it was so awesome. And, you know, you never forget that. It's like the energy that's come back. So it was really surprising because we were ready to enter to play in front of like the crew. <laughs> and then and the place was packed and it was really one of the best like concerts we had. This is amazing. Yeah, Not just this story made me realize how much I miss live shows and, uh, oh, yeah. you know, and festivals this summer. It's true. And I just true. hope that it, it's, it is going to resume sometime soon. Man, Eidman, I'm conscious of your time. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of things to do in Valhalla, drink meat and, uh, you know, hang out with your buddies. Uh, it's not only yeah. internet, like how it is on Earth here now, because we are locked down on these four walls um, and everything. So any last message for the fans? Anything you want to share with them? You know, like, we're very proud, you know, that, that everybody likes our songs and the music and the, the new record is awesome. And just uh, give it a try, listen to it and... and yeah, and then, like you said, when everybody is allowed to do content again, then we're ready to sing with everyone who loves our music. So that's it. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Viking. Thanks. Yeah. Take care. Thanks, Bye. man.